Okay, here is my beautiful antique English concertina, La Chanel. Except the problem is it's not my beautiful La Chanel concertina. It's my mother's. And there's a problem with it, you can hear. The note is on constantly. What does it mean? There are two areas where it could be wrong. One is inside the bellows area and the other is at the block ends. If you look here, you can see these pieces rising here. There are literally thousands of pieces all handmade. You can see that one working. Yeah, just about see it there. The spring is moving, but the pad is not, which means we have to go into the part of it. Which is what I'm going to attempt now. I was told not to do this, I don't have the tools for doing it, but the only alternative is to send it away for repairs, which would be a very expensive and a very lengthy process. It gets sent away, so let's give it a go. There are two screws to take off. One is here and the other is here, in the centre of the thumb strap. I don't have the tools to do it, so I'm going to have to improvise. Taken off the end of the thumb strap here, that part's easy, which gets me to these two screws, and also the screw here, but I don't have a tool, I've only got a knife, that doesn't work, so I've got to go and get the proper tools. Okay, I've taken off screws here and here, and it's still not working, still can't get the top off. I've taken off the side screws here, and realised I don't really know what I'm doing, but I do know you have to keep each screw for its hole because these are handmade pieces and if you get them mixed up it can cause all kinds of problems. There we are, looking inside the machine with all the bellows and reeds and goodness knows what. But I'm still not into what I want to get into, which is here. And it's very important I don't mix them up, otherwise I'll be even in more trouble. So let's try and get the top off here. Oh, that seems to be working. Okay, we're well outside the comfort zone now. Now I'm going to try and take the top off. I'll film this to film my success or for insurance purposes. This now comes off. Oh. Wow, and we're in. That's quite interesting in itself, looking inside here. What we've really got to do, make sure this is in the same position. And now we're right into the heart of it. As I say, each of these pieces is handmade, apparently. So we're really, oops, look at that. Okay, which was the one that was a problem? Uh, that seems to work. I don't know if you can do this. Oh gosh. Oh goodness me, look at that. That looks so complicated. Wow. Ah, there's the problem one there, of course. There it is. So now, huh, all I have to do, what's that? Is stick, stick that back on, I suppose. Let's try that. Oh, my nerves. Right. I think I've done a good job on gluing that. You have to get it the right way around because it only fits in one place. Only fits in the hole, only fits in one specific location. And then I've discovered something, you must never, ever, ever turn it upside down because the pins are only resting in place. So as you can see with that pin there, that's now come out of, the button's come out of position, which I'm hoping is not a big job, so I'm going to try and put that back in place now. Okay, that was harder than it looked. I think we're alright. I'm now not going to touch anything for a couple of hours and let it dry. Okay, it's not dry yet, but I've just read on the internet you're not supposed to leave the part separated because it can bow the wood. So I am going to put the top back on it. 
problem is it doesn't seem to line up the buttons don't seem to line up very well because they've moved so we have to somehow oh, maneuver them in Well, it looks good. We'll find out in a couple of hours if it is good. And has it worked? No sound at all. Fantastic.